Hey guys, welcome back to the Teenagers with Experience YouTube channel. I'm Mel and today's subject that I'm going to be covering is a very tough one because I want to know, do you have to go from high school to college to university? Do you have to have your life planned out? Is it necessary? Let's see what society has to say for itself. A key point I wanted to add to this video before I started was I've done some research on uh, the age limit of going to college and I found out there's actually not an age limit. However, if you are not applying directly from finishing high school, you apply as a mature student, which often has different admission requirements. So that means that I don't have to directly apply from from high school to college because like I tried it out and it wasn't for me so now I do home studying so studying from home helped me a lot because I was in my own element I wasn't timed I wasn't under pressure it was in my own time I could do it in my own time and it just suited me so much from being in a classroom or being in around other people really so when I was home studying, I actually enjoyed it because it was just so much easier and so much it was easier on my mental health as well because I would just was not under pressure and I just really enjoyed it. So from studying in college to doing home studying, I noticed a massive difference and it really helped me to plan out my future and not feel bad about not having a secure plan in place. But back to the subject. But does this mean I have my life planned out if I am studying from home? No, it doesn't. What I am doing is taking one step at a time in my life. I am not having a full plan in place and following it because that's not how I work. That's how some people work like that and that's great that they can plan out their life and they stick to it which is no problem at all but there is that other side when you ask do you have to have a plan in place to live your life no you don't i wanted to take one step at a time in my life so when i'm studying from home i'm earning my qualifications i'm getting certificates i'm getting my a levels but in my own time and that's how I work and that's how many other people work as well and I have asked other members of my team what they think about it so it's a it's a tough subject really because when you have a plan in place in your life you tend to have to stick to it and then if you go off guard you punish yourself for it and that's not what I want to do because that's not good on my, my mental health so like for example I'm not meeting deadlines I'm not like in the classroom in college they give you deadlines and you have to meet them and you have to be done by that deadline and with home studying I'm not forcing myself to meet these deadlines. This was my life and my choice and it felt so good to have the control. I didn't want to just share my opinion or experience. So I did ask a few of my fellow members from the team what they thought as well. Mercury. Having life planned out after high school is a double-edged sword. One that I, am in my opinion, does not have pros that outweigh that of not having a plan. I say this because as someone who has plans, they were constantly thrown off due to life events and realizing that I wasn't enjoying it, but tolerating it. And that's hard when you have plans and they get thrown off. That being said, it's nice to have some directions to head into. I went into tutoring services because of my time spent volunteering on the same subject and very much enjoyed myself. I spent time exploring different elements and as such as college based as my previous interests. I changed my major about two or three times though I know people who have done it more times and people who have done it less. Living and growing involves change and it's important to know that your plans may change so whilst you may want to plan which by all means do if you prefer to, 
try to remember that it doesn't, nor should it, be set in stone. There's nothing wrong with pushing hard and achieving your dreams through relentlessness, but it's important to look out for you and what is best for you too. Mercury. Having life planned out after high school is a double-edged sword, one that I, in my opinion, does not have pros that outweigh that of not having a plan. I say this because as someone who has a meter, it's not wise to decide to go to university or choose a subject without thinking about yourself or your passion. From my experience, time is needed to think about yourself and what you want. I wanted to be a doctor since I was in grade eight. I was not sure if this was what I wanted, but COVID, but the COVID situation gave me enough time to ponder what I want to do and research my interests. I needed this time to discover myself and or else I would have taken a sudden decision regarding my career, which might not have been good for me. Everyone needs time for themselves. I live their lives for them to live their lives and find out what they want to do. Anita, it's not wise to Jade. Honestly, I would say it's important to head to university college right away, mostly because the information is still fresh in your head. Here in the US, we have options to enter college without a major. So college university is a place where students can find what they want to learn about. Jade, honestly? Tyrone. I think it's semi-important to plan your life out before you should have some idea of where you want to work or go to school, but not to the point of having every exact detail planned out. If you do it this way, you will have increased anxiety about needing to get into your dream college or job. If you don't do this, it may make you feel like a failure. So like I of what you want to do with your life. And it's okay to take time to figure it out. It's a hard decision. Sydney, I always thought it was a crucial, it was crucial to have every aspect of your life planned out, but it's not. Life changes, things happen. Being open to change is the best advice I can give. When I was 15, I thought I knew everything. I knew exactly what university I was wanted to attend, what I would like to study and what my dream job would be once I got my degree. I'm now 18 and none of that stayed true. I generally, cons I generally considered a gap year, which is something I never thought I would do. I didn't end up taking it, but it was a good option to have available. So while it was good to consider the future and have options available, don't put so much stock in your plans that if something goes wrong, you're screwed. Know what you want to do, but don't be upset if things change. So by hearing other people's opinions, we get to hear what's actually going on in the outside world, reminding you there is no right or wrong answer. If you choose to follow a career path, then that is your choice and you go along with what you want, not no one else, whatever, whatever suits anyone else, it's your life, you gotta live what you want. But if you're like me and you just blank out and you don't know what you want to do with your life, then take it as it comes, take it one step at a time, it helps massively. Because if you set out a plan, like I said, in your life and you don't meet the deadlines, and you don't meet the requirements needed for that, you're gonna punish yourself and then that's gonna be hard on yourself, your mental health and your life really, and you're gonna punish yourself. So for me, I think I have taken the right path by taking each day as it comes. But at least I gave college a shot. I tried twice and it just wasn't for me, but at least I gave it a shot, right? So now, yes, I do spend my days at home, home studying, in my own time, doing my own thing, and 
I am also living my life as well because I go out traveling, I do YouTube videos and I feel like I am living my life as I want it right now because I'm taking each day as it comes and it feels like I'm not being looked down upon. Just because I'm home studying does not mean I am not earning the qualifications that people do in college because it's the same thing just doing it from home. <laughs> But also doing home studying, it has helped me to grow my confidence a lot because when I left school, it was a hard thing for me to go to college and be around other people. So my answer to the question of this video, do I have to have my life planned out, is no, you do not have to. You do not have to go straight from high school to college to university. You do not have to follow that path. People are allowed to take time away from this path that they choose and they are allowed to have freedom. They are allowed to explore what they are, who they are and explore the outside world as well because that's what I'm currently doing. And it's good for your mental health, it's good for yourself and it makes you realise who you really are, who you truly are and I really feel like it's helped me grow my confidence in the outside world because as you probably know I'm not very good at um, filming videos because I'm not very good at sitting in front of a camera and talking but I love doing it makes sense but when I'm following something it's hard for me but when I act in the moment and just improvise I seem to go along with it and that's how I work. I hope this video has provided you with some helpful tips if you are struggling to fi figure out what you want to do with your life. If you want to know more about home studying, drop in the comments below and I'll do another video on home studying, what I am doing and what I'm studying. So if you found this video helpful, drop us a like and subscribe please. Thank you for watching this video. Mahal. Thank you.